Hey guys, welcome to another daily tip here. Today is Wednesday, February 18th, 2009. And uh, today I'm going to do another request here. Uh, I've had a couple questions and requests about the metronome inside of Logic. One of them being how you can actually change the sound. And then the other is uh, a question about the metronome not working. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to answer those questions today. And uh, so let's go ahead and get on to it. Uh, the first thing is um, if you want to change the metronome sounds, you, as far as I know, there aren't like different settings like wood block or like uh, just a general beep like uh, other software has. But um, you can do a lot to customize the metronome here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Uh, you, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can go here down to the metronome uh, thing down here, right click on it, and go to metronome settings. Then you have you can change your notes, uh, the actual notes of the metronome. So let's just go ahead and play that and uh, change the notes a little bit. See, so it went up in pitch there. Then you can change the tonality. Or change it, make it really flat sounding. You can also raise and lower the volume. And uh, if you had other outputs, you could also change the output of the, um, the metronome as well. So that's one way you can do it. Then there's another way. So go to your mixer and go up here to your um, uh, mixer selection thing and click all. And then it'll show your click track here. You can mute the click track. So even if the button's on, you won't hear the click. Uh, you can raise and lower the volume of the click here. And then here's the actual click plugin right here. That's some K word that I can't pronounce. And uh, here you can also change the settings. See? So there's a lot of different things you can do with this measure at home. And uh, if you don't have the click here, uh, say it's like this, you have no plug in here, which I think is what's the problem uh, with the other person that uh, contacted us. Uh, you can go here to your input, change the input, and go down to this K thing, however you pronounce that, and go to mono. And then it'll bring up the same box, and now you'll have your click track. So let's, I can show you without it. You don't hear nothing, even though the click track is activated. But then once you go in here and uh, find that the click, now you can hear it. And it reset all the, f the settings back to the default. So you can adjust this however. So hopefully that answers your questions. And uh, I guess uh, if you have any other questions or requests, uh, feel free to uh, head on over to our forum at www.limitless-studios.com and uh, post them there. And uh, we'll try to get to them as soon as possible. So uh, I guess we'll see you in another video.